I don't know and exactly how this is gonna play out, but fuck it. <laughs> Hello everyone, the Arts Zosha here. Uh, so pretty much I have been teasing about this. I've been putting it off. I've been delaying it, so on and so forth, and. Yeah, so I'm here. I'm finally, I'm finally gonna start uh, Tales of Berseria. Now, I'm not. I have played this game back and forth, so nothing's gonna be surprising to me. So I am going to be doing this as a new game plus to kind of skip a lot of the grinding and stick to the story. But there's a catch here because I've played the game so much, and because I carry a fuck ton of DLC, I have decided to edit in the DLC for throughout the gameplay cutscenes. And I mean, what I mean by that is that every time there is a off-screen, every time like characters are off-screen at some point and whatnot, at some point they're gonna have a costume change. Now, if you have not played Tales of Berseria, that is not exactly easy as I'm making it sound because what that means is I have to replay the scene more than once from a particular save point, so I have to go back and play generally X amount of X amount of time on this game and change of the costume. And when the change happens, when it, when the change happens in post, it'll look seamless. But to me, what that means is I'm gonna have to stop at some point. And then just replay it with replay it with a different costume altogether. And I gotta edit it all together. So that's what that means. Alright. But anyway, pretty much that's it. Uh so yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh let's get double the gold. Triple the experience. Enhance drops. Carry over that, carry over that. Um Carry over the cooking. Although, in the grand scheme of things, for this game, that doesn't mean much. And that. Uh, that should be fine. Alright, so that should work. Okay! Oh yeah, that's right! I completely forgot! <laughs> I forgot to show the new thing! So, um, yeah. Uh, pretty much, I, uh, have done some work on, uh, becoming, well... I want to kind of work towards being a VTuber, although making a model and whatnot for that and then having a setup, it's expensive and it takes a lot of time. So my friend introduced me to this program where I could basically take a number of PNGs, set them up on OBS, and they could just in in incorporate my reactions. And pretty much, you know, like this is, uh, this is pretty much how I'm going to be playing the game and I... <clears throat> Pretty much, I have uh, decided, you know, why don't I reveal it through my Tales of Berseria playthrough, considering that uh, this is, like, you know, this is something new, and this is, this is something new, and it'll help, I hope, uh, give a little more, give a little more to the experience, essentially. A little more life, instead of you just watching me play as Tales of Berseria, now you get, like, uh, custom reactions, motherfuckers. <laughs> Ah, uh, God. It, it's gonna take me a while to get used to making sure that I get up the reactions and whatnot. Is I'm not doing this in post, this is with the video. So, yeah. Hopefully this, uh, this works out fine. Okay, so, let's get started on the game. Okay, so the thing, uh, about the costumes I was talking about earlier, is that I have everyone preset from my previous game. So everyone is set already on a costume. And, uh, I don't know, I tried testing this before, the and the opening to the game was kind of being over-encoded on OBS, so this probably looks like shit. But, uh, not my voice! <laughs> so yeah, pretty much, uh, costumes are already custom- already set up and whatnot. Um, I can't change any of them. And the audio is shit, great. But yeah, uh, pretty much the costumes are already set up. Uh, I can't change any of them until they become party members, so they're going to be stuck in certain ways. So you're just going to have to stick with them until uh, I get to a point where I can change that. So if you don't like the costumes I set up for them, sorry, but I'm that's how it is. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> 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 
You'll be just fine with these. Mm. Selica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? I really wish the audio sure was better will. on this. Now, have I ever lied to you? Uh -uh. I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. <laughs> it's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. So I have to say, um, for the acting, actually, um, Ray Chase, I believe, is the actor for this. Uh, for the actor for Arthur. Christina V is the actress for Velvet. Like, in th the cast, I have to say, actually, they're really well done for this. Especially uh, Erica Lindbeck as a particular character, which we'll come back later. But yeah. Yeah, so that is new. Or not new. Uh, sorry, that is different. Um, anyone who lives in, in uh, the U.S. probably doesn't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, there is the costume. Anyone in the U.S. probably doesn't know what I'm talking about, but um, that cutscene is actually different. Than the, uh, the one from overseas, I believe. I'll edit it in post. On my end, the frame rate looks fine, but I don't know how this looks looking back. If it looks like shit, I will, uh, if it looks like shit for this playthrough, I will try and do my best to lower the frame rate or whatever, to trying to make this at least look solid. But yeah. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. One man. Hmm. Laffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Laffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cave. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Again, sorry if I'm I'm yeah, like silent throughout winter. all of this, but um, but pretty much I again I have played of. the game. I, sorry, I just medicine money. I'll have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own. Arthur's first. Yeah, I've played this game before multiple Plans times, so must be it's solid like it's, and reaction nothing's flexible. really gonna surprise me. All right. I shouldn't doubt but my students' abilities. Just because so nothing surprises me doesn't spot. mean that uh I'm sorry, Velvet. I didn't want to not Whoa, play it or hey, anything. What's I enjoyed this game. For? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. 
Yep, I know how this works. Okay. So yeah, this is New Game Plus. Portrait stays this. The portrait is going to change later on. Okay. I guess I can do some of these. Rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. Give me you a sec. better be. Okay, let's try it again. Keep warm and no going outside. Okay, that's... You don't trust me at all. It'll get dark if you don't leave soon. There you go. Now my, uh... Now my avatar doesn't get in the way of the actual text. So there you go. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I'm actually liking this setup, honestly. This is great. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won Maybe... and lost with the preparation made before the first strike. I probably did not think this through. <laughs> Uh, let's try... Let's try that. It's on 30 FPS, but, uh, you know what, Matt? If it makes it look smoother, I'll... If it makes it look smoother, I, I guess I'll keep it. It's fine. Frame rate doesn't really bother me. It's just a matter of making it... Making sure, like, everything looks fine. And yeah, I can already see the frame cap. This area looks promising. Personally, I... I yeah, I guess... Uh, frame rate does bother me, but you know, it, I'm not fucking rich, all right. I'm not rich. I don't have money. If I had money for a fucking setup, I probably would like buy the best setup for gaming. But I fucking don't. Actually, speaking of which, um, there, I have been considering like looking into buying a Steam Deck, but I'd have to save up for it. Yeah. So normally this would be where the uh, this would be where the tutorial is, but the game knows that I already played it, so. There's no sense. And this is the custom music that plays with this costume. Not bad. Yeah, that's how it's done. I have been looking into getting a Steam Deck, however, it is quite Lots fucking costly. So, I am planning next year to save up for so at least the cheapest Steam Deck I can I buy with uh, a micro SD extension. Pigs. And what from the looks of everything, from what I've seen about reviews, it actually looks pretty legit, like a handheld PC. Yeah, so, I'm hoping that, uh, about, if possible, I'd like to be able to record yeah, and stream games I own on Steam and whatnot. And, you know, uh, open up more uh, opportunities for, like, video games to play, because I don't own everything. I guess I don't own a lot of my games on PS4 or Switch, so. So, I am going to be showing this in the video, but uh, for the most part, I am... Any any major fights like these, I'm just going to be cutting out for the sake of the story. Not bad. Because this is just basically, okay, I know how to deal with these guys, get this shit over with. If everything goes right with it and all, I should have this out maybe by, maybe by December, maybe by January. I don't know, because my schedule is kind of hectic. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. I don't really need to fight as many enemies, thankfully, this time around, because uh, I have triple EXP, so it's fine. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. This is the actual battle thing. An 
an exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. I'd like to point out that while I would love to record the game footage through my actual PS4, it should be noted that, uh... This game doesn't let me record gameplay aside from specific instances. Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look that sure would be late if I recall correctly. Winner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even do anything. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please, this is life or death for me. 
but I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. I can imagine people were fucking like on social media and people were like fucking heavily into food for everything like oh god this fucking game you can't you're telling me that it doesn't even know that fucking bisexual people fucking exist you're telling me it won't let lesbians have relationships in this game not realizing that well for one this is a fantasy world and two this is before a time where this is taking place before a time where uh that stuff was actually welcomed or at least better than before the best mode of transportation is like horse and carriage and boats and like that's it and maybe and maybe like you and maybe like uh and maybe like i guess just uh walking around i guess but yeah this is like this is taking put this is taking place a lot before a time of uh progressiveness so yeah if you don't like it well uh that's that's just how kind of things are as time goes on things uh just what is considered to be the norm just changes I mean, like, 20 years ago, it was perfectly normal to basically bash homosexuals and trans. It was the norm. It was it was it was the norm. Like that was what was accepted and no normal. People constantly made jokes about it. Entertainment made jokes about it. It was the norm. And now that you you don't see you rarely see anything like that. And if it happens, it usually is met with scorn. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Okay. Welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if no, it's no, 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 no. Huh? With more enthusiasm Thanks in your voice. We'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level. So your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on. It's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch. And I brought back plenty. Near Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet. I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur is Moloch? Huh. You really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah. Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? 
Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. I just want to point out that normally, uh, in in gameplay like this, I would usually just skip through all the dialogue and whatnot and just get straight to, uh, like, more of the important parts of the story, but I'm going to assume that there are other people that have not actually, uh, played this game or even seen it, so I'm just, I'm, I'm holding on, on to this and kind of staying silent for you guys, so, you're welcome. <laughs> so easy to light our um bell could you not huh mm. i'll leave out well there's since some of arthur's special curry spice upstairs isn't there this really doesn't matter much honestly it is just kind of something to do but it doesn't really matter much so i'm not really going to incorporate i'm, I'm not really going to like incorporate all every little thing just like a lot of the stuff that i think is like actually important or so or a number of the cutscenes and whatnot if I recall correctly pretty much this is Good where the story is gonna start you to didn't change forget your medicine well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Luffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Luffy Set made. A smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but... Not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet! I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. <gasps> Velvet, can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Lafayette. 
Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the You can tell that too, the costume is not exactly uh Well yeah, that too. Was not exactly Fine. uh just for today though. You told the costume and whatnot sure? was not exactly buffed up for this uh but next for this part of the game. Because like there's nothing because there's a little bit of a glitch and bug with yes, the hair. Good. It's off to the cape then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right, and that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah, me too, sis. Ah, <sighs> just look at all these! This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. A demon! Alright, here we go. Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared, you can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Just 
slapped him. Get home. Velvet! Fluffy, you're all right. Ugh. Sorry. My fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. All right. Here's where pretty much the prologue is going to come to an end. Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! So, there is a actually a particular scene in this game that got changed in the West. I will take it upon myself to edit it, in, edit the original one in because uh, it actually is a lot better than the, the the Western version, which is the censored version. Fluffy, where are you? What on earth is going on? I have to be scared. I have to find Luffy. No, the village. Yeah, so I can't defeat the demons right now. I have to wait until uh, we get through this. So this is going to be the first instance of a costume change. Again, this is going to take a while for me, but for all of you, this is going to seem uh, flawless. Trust me on this. Fluffy! Arthur! <laughs> yeah, Velvet. so this... Oh, this scene goodness. got changed in the you West. sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? A giant fucking cross of magic goes straight through his body. As if that's any better. to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion.
feeds on demons. Arthur. A Therian. I'll never get over how sick the Therian arm is. Take a look around. Demon blight has spread through the village. Do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So did my world come to an end? Three long years. I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Where is he? First, there will 
be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now, throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons. Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. So this is where a bit more of my editing is going to come into play. Because I'm going to have to do a number of costume changes. But also, there's also a number of costumes that are going to get revealed of what I said before I started the new game plus. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. Looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. I like this uh, DLC outfit for Velvet. It's really good. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here?
Well, that was easy. <laughs> you didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. What is this thing? That's a special mask. You know what? I'm just gonna let it play. I was instinctively about to skip, but fuck it. ...of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks. Under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. I've heard a lot of voice actors yes, and actresses sir. now. I'm like listening to this game now. I'm like, I, I can start to recognize who who is who. Like I think I heard Kyle McCarley and Xander Mobus. This isn't going to be easy. I know Sarah's is voiced and by Monica Rial. Enforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Who in the blazes are you? We're finished here. Let's go. Serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? 
Melchior. I won't force you! You want to rot in here? Then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick of the slop they feed us. Ceres. attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you. We'll use any tool I need. Dear me! Not a word of apology? And that is Erica Lindbeck. <gasps> and that's the costume I saved for her. What is wrong with you people? Grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And you are? Hooray! You asked. I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons. None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious Magikigika Filudindo Dindo Larundu, Magilu for short. If I remember correctly, I think she said she did that in one take. Oh. Can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. That's no, Rokuro. And the costume I got for him. <laughs> More? Voiced by Ben Diskin. This one. He's a demon. Get ready. You're not human. You know me. <laughs> True enough. Deception. Deception. <laughs> He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Huh. Brittle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Stormhell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. We've just about quelled this riot. 
you won't be getting away. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> oh. That's got to seem like a bitch. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. You better be ready. Come on, really? Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar. I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding me. I believe the voice for him is Michael Sisterniklaus. Praetor is far Probably more dangerous than Probably butchering that, but whatever. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. All right, here we go. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? You're skilled. I will have 
to expend a Moloch or two for this. More of your vaunted reason! Wounds are fatal. Oh, please consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafayette's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes... ...are one... ...and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days <laughs> when you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. <laughs> If you don't, I'll eat you! Absorb that Moloch's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! All right, there we go. Apologies. 
But I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! from the tower. I thought, this is it, Mogilu. This is the end! It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhowl is back in my care. Rokuro Rangetsu, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters! The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. <laughs> mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! <laughs> I'm coming for you, Artorius. Well, I'll have to see where this goes next time, huh? <laughs>